I'm Philip Aby. I'm the CEO of Reprisk. We are an ESG data provider, or more specifically an ESG data science company. And by that we mean that we really collect a lot of ESG data points with sophisticated means, such as machine learning, and make them available for companies that use them, for example, for their supply chains and, and due diligence and suppliers for banks, the due diligence and client relationships, and for investors. A little bit the old-fashioned way is that you just take a ESG metric, such as an ESG rating, that tells you this is a good or bad company, and then you simply exclude the bad companies and just take the good companies, and everything else in the investment process stays the same. And there's the more modern way that you look at specific indicators you're interested in, for example, um, how many incidents uh, have there been with respect to uh, mining operations, or then specific questions on, on human rights. In ESG data, you have um, what either companies report, and then there are other data points that actually you can collect from outside of companies. For example, are there human rights incidents? Um, are there uh, labor issues, etc.? So depending on what you're interested in, you take one of these two sources or, or combine them. The private Security, um, industry and human rights is something that is very often a little bit neglected um, by uh, um, investors interested in, in ESG or is, is just part of something that is aggregated and, and in the end you just have an ESG rating all, overall, which means that the specific data points about uh, human rights and, and, and what really matters for, for security companies actually completely lost. But the key thing in any case for human rights and, and security companies with respect to human rights is that you can, of course, ask, do, do companies have a policy, for example, um, with respect to, to human rights? What is more interesting, I think, is that uh, you can also look at that from a walk-the-talk perspective. So what do companies really do? Are there incidents that show there was a violence against a civil society um, or there were labor issues related to, to their own employees? So, so this incident-driven um, approach um, that then needs data from outside of a companies, I think that's the most interesting aspect of these data. So what I think what, what iCoco can do is, is actually talk to investors and say there's an opportunity for you in here that you better understand the uh, securities industry and how it relates to big list of companies that these investors uh, invest in. Because keep in mind, usually investors don't invest in, in securities companies themselves, but they invest in companies that contract them. And that's basically the, the way that this whole question of human rights um, can be firmly put on the agenda uh, where it matters with the investors. Talk directly to, to investors and, and explain the context uh, in, 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 in different situations in geographies um, so that they can better make the due diligence on, on, on their investments.